It's been like uh, 12 years since, uh, sorry if I butcher it, in the Sons de Pierre? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, did uh, such long-running uh, collaboration uh, help you in some way to create this particular story? I mean, story of two women who basically shape each other through art. Yes, of course. I mean, um, there was the will to actually um, work together again. And this will was totally founded on the trust uh, that we had in each other. Um, not to actually portray our past collaboration, but to create a, to create, uh, a, new, um, a new collaboration. Um, and I wrote the script with uh, Adele in mind. Uh, not trying to actually portray her on the things I knew from her, but actually trusting her with the fact that she was going to work with this and, and invent something new. Um, so, yeah, the good thing about the past is that it can give you a very strong ambition for, yeah. for your partners. So is that uh, parallel between uh, artist and her muse and director and uh, an actress is valid one? Do you think that uh, it works in a similar fashion? It does, but it's something that has to be told differently. I mean, the, um, muse is a beautiful word, but that's it. But it's uh, a beautiful word to actually uh, tell about uh, something that is that isn't true. I mean, we see it as a fetishized woman who is inspiring just because she's there and silent and beautiful. So it's it's a way of silencing the true um, motive of a collaboration that is a co-creation and women behind the artist were actually in front of them having the conversation and now we have this whole process of actually uh, putting back the, the, the women artists in the process and erasing that term muse to actually yeah. um, tell the true story. To what degree were you both like interested in recreating the mindset of that time? I don't know if it's even possible to recreate the mindset of the of the age of the female artist who worked like. And actually, it's not the goal as well. Yeah, I'm asking about that. No, no, what it's not at all. I think it's more about uh, creating our own. As a, uh, it's also about fantasy. This costume, for example, I didn't play as if I was playing based on yeah. how you're supposed to play in costume drama. I play more like futuristic in this way, in kind of way, you know, I, I pictured myself as if I was into an, a galactical ship, you know, this was my opinion in the thing, you know, I didn't try to to portray how people does actually live at that time, I mean, Celine was very accurate with this, she really, like, made research about yeah. women artists uh, in the 18th century, but it was actually not the point, the point was to create, um, yeah, in a way, uh, Fantasma and fantasmatic world in a way, yeah. no? Well, that for for your part, that's for sure. But um, I was obsessed with the fact that it's a reconstitution. I wasn't thinking. I'm trying to to portray how it was. Yeah. I'm just. I was trying to portray how it always is. Um, mm -hmm. What's in what stays. Um, so it's not about the attitudes or um, the convention, it's uh, about giving back to these women their bodies, their desires mm -hmm. and their minds when they're alone. And I think that this is always the same. Um, cinema is the only place in the world where you can share the loneliness of somebody. And in loneliness you have your own attitude your so that's the I wanted to give them back their intimacy and I don't know if it was like that but I know that it's also uh, against the convention of how we think it was yeah you know so that was um, so make them run make, make them give them back their bodies when they're alone and you can see the contrast in Adam's performance uh, no, Mimi Alon is always kind of always alone in the film, so she has this. She's very much the same. And Adele bringing contrast to her own character actually embodies the fact that uh, we can be several things. So it's not about and and how loneliness and intimacy is not the same as mundanity, for instance. And I think 
that was the case and is still true and I think it's something we never show. So it's more about, mm. I was more thinking about that. Mm. But, and also regarding the costume piece. Yeah. It's why do we always say costume? I think it's because it's important. You know? <laughs> like for instance, you create the costume and it's the first time that I had this level of intervention because usually you do shopping. So it's all about designing the character throughout the costume. And I was like obsessed with the fact that you had to have pockets, for instance. And this could seem anachronism, but it wasn't because they had pockets yeah. at the time and then pockets were forbidden for women in the 19th century. And now we're getting bad pockets, but still not enough. I don't have the same pockets as you. Yeah. My pockets are all small and I have to have a bag. So for instance, I think this is a goal of reconstitution that is true, important, new, and uh, totally, yeah, it's historical truth that brings modernity to the past, but it's accurate. So what about the paintings on the history of women? Because you didn't turn to, to classics, you basically invented the whole, your private uh, painting la landscape. Mm -hmm. So what was, what are the roots of that uh, decision? Well, because I didn't want to be uh, in the biopic dynamic, there were stars, of, of women painters who were stars at the time, like Elisabeth Vigée Le Grand, she was the official painter for Marie Antoinette, so she was famous, very successful, and she, got, she, she, she did lose her head. Uh, but um, I, I'm kind of fed up with uh, the, um, the dynamic of uh, the portrait of strong women who are making it uh, even though it's not okay, it's not easy for them, you know, pushing the boundaries because this is a political program that says if you want, you can, and that's not the program we want. So I really wanted to invent a painter, not to be fancy or to kind of br brag, but uh, because I felt it was a way to actually respect uh, and and talk about all of those artists that have been erased from history and also it was more, much more fun. Well, portraying uh, heroes as a woman heroes or working class heroes or whatever, we are always such what Sayin said afterwards, like, okay, it's not the society that, that makes it impossible. In the end, you can do it if you want. Yeah. And this is really, I don't really, it, it makes things not politicized. Mm -hmm. And this is like a problem. Mm -hmm. So um, about that uh, Eurydice and Orpheus thing, because I can stop thinking about it. Uh, as an artist who basically immortalizes stuff, do you have different concept of love? Because basically it's the question, would you turn to see? Well, you know, there's a, they are debating this. And when I think when, when Marianne says, well, you made the choice of the poet, I, I I think she's she's right. <laughs> but, uh, no, but um, I think it's the responsibility of. Do we have another? I don't put the artist as superior. I don't consider. I no, I, I, I wouldn't call it superior, mm. but just different. Just the knowing that you can, you know, save uh, save an image mm -hmm. in the memory of people and in the imagination of people. You know that's. And love can be that such image, I guess. I mean, that's the mm. that's the thing I, I just I got from it's, the movie. It's it's like the myth. It's 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 useful, and uh, myths are useful, and fictions and films should be also useful because when I say useful, this this they should help you live. Mm. They should help you find your own um, poetic approach to your life, to the ones you love, to the and. And so I hope the film, it's a responsibility of fiction. I mean, it's really useful, it should be useful. Uh, and, and so I, I guess we try to create another myth. Um, and there's layers in that, like we create our own myth because we invent this history with this character that I hope will be uh, iconic. Uh, and also we kind of reinvent the myth that we all, all live in. That's that's our responsibility. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.